Good Marvel afternoon, everybody. It is Napalm Dawn here on G4G, and we are back on the topic of Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux. Um, you're going to be a little disappointed if you're thinking maybe this is going to be some uh, beta news, like a new version like 6 or 5.5 or something. Uh, it isn't. This is going to be a content update video. And um, my background that you see here is my background when I do camera work for Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux videos. However, it is kind of appropriate that it's the background. But we'll get into that in just a moment. Before we continue with the video, there's a few things that I want to make clear here. As always, I say, don't ask me about mobile versions. Just don't. The next thing I'm going to tell you not to discuss down in the video is timelines. Don't ask when the next beta is going to be out. Don't ask when a release candidate is going to be out. Don't ask how the flow of game the game is going to be when it's in a release. When are we getting this spec ops? When are we getting this PVP? How's it all going to flow? That's been beaten to death. Go look at other videos for that. The bugs video for 5.01 really kind of explains how the timeline is going to go. So go back to that one to get your answers. Any comments on this video need to be topical about the content that you're going to see in this video. It's an announcement video. So we'll see the content in just a bit. And the next thing that I need to say before I reveal the content, because this happens sometimes when, when people like to feel their oats a little bit and like to think that they've got a sack to grab. They'll sit there and on these content videos and say, well, why this? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? Why don't you focus on the game? Why don't you focus on the code? Fix the bugs, get it out faster, faster, faster. That question shows an incredibly greedy mentality and also a little bit of a mentality that doesn't understand the flow of game development and silos and sections and rooms in a building what you're about to see has been created by the development team and when we say the development team within redux we mean the content development team this team is separate and does not code the same way goofy codes and does not create content he oversees it. He has his opinions on things and says like, oh, I don't want to do that or I think we should do this. And they're taken into consideration, but it's a different silo. There's the content development team that does the plot, does the art, the sprites, everything that makes the game its, its skin and the clothing that the game wears. And you know, sunglasses and a hat and a necklace and a, a watch and everything. That's the content development team. What Goofy and the other coders are doing, and let's make it clear, Goofy is now not the only one who is doing code work, which is why you're seeing an acceleration in just how good the betas are. Um, that team is working on the bones and the ligaments and the cartilage. You need to have that in order for the content to have something to sit on. So they're not opposing groups. They, they work in conjunction with each other, but they their skill sets are very, very different. So just like somebody who is putting, well, <laughs> everything is a robot now at this point, but think of a restaurant. Uh, think of a chef, a line cook, and a server, and a busboy. The busboy's not out there creating a well-crafted eight-ounce filet mignon. Busboy is doing their job. The server is doing their job. The greeter is doing their job. The chef is doing their job. That's the silos that we're talking about here. So please very much restrain yourself from making that kind of comment about like, well, why are we talking about this? We should be focusing on getting the game released. Don't, don't even bother with that. Don't bother with mobile talk. Don't bother with timeline questions. And don't bother with the attitude of what you think the game should be doing. So now that we have that out of the way, we have 
an announcement to discuss. And when I said it's related to the background over here, it is. And that is because, as you can see here from Jean-Claude Van... Uh, Jean I actually said the, the real name there. Jean-Claude Van Damme has said in our announcement channel on Wednesday of this week, the missing Spec Ops between 39 and 41, aka Spec Ops 40, has gone ahead and gone up on the Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux wiki. And that Spec Ops is a symbiote-related Spec Ops called Lethal Protectors. Now, you may remember that the first Venom movie had its ties to the Lethal Protector arc, where Venom acted in a mostly heroic manner. And that's what we're getting to in this video, is talking about the Lethal Protector Spec Ops, which is going to be number 40 for the Spec Ops. So obviously this will come after we go through the original Spec Ops and start going into some of the newer ones. And I'll show you guys where you can find out all that information in just a few moments. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the Lethal Protector Spec Ops. A Quiet Night? Well, those don't exist when you work for S.H.I.E.L.D. A prison escape in the least of everyone's... A prison escape is the least of everyone's worries when a new symbiote arrives on the scene in New York, finding a host in powerful enemy of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, and finding a host in... Okay, um, yeah, that, that, okay, sorry, that sentence tripped me up there a little bit. But where did this symbiote come from, and what does he want, and how can the heroes hope to stop it? Eddie Brock might know a guy. There is a specific twist to this Spec Ops, and rather than earning a Spec Ops hero, you are going to earn two alternate uniforms for existing characters. You're going to gain a uniform for Agent Venom, that I always like to uh, abbreviate as AGV. And you're also going to gain a uniform for Anti-Venom, who I like to abbreviate as ANV, so AGV and ANV. Uh, before I go a little further, I always found Agent Venom to be kind of garbage. Um, I, at the time that I got him from his PvP season, uh, I had mentioned to my girlfriend that Agent Venom was up for grabs that season. And she's like, oh, you got to try to do everything you can to, to win him or earn him. He's Haas. Literally, that was the word that she said. He's Haas. And uh, I did earn him that season. However, I never found him to be Haas. Uh, I always thought he was relatively weak. I mean, he had some good debuffs and everything, but the, the transition from Infiltrator to Bruiser and it's it's kind of randomness and everything. Um, and, and I get it. Thematically being out of control and going over to the Venom mode, it, it makes sense. It's sort of like a um, somebody with the Diablo Soulstone, the Diablo series. It's a struggle to keep that malevolent entity, that evil entity malicious entity down and it's a daily mental battle to remain in control like a possession so the the random out of controlness certainly plot wise thematically made a lot of sense i never really liked it very much i always wished and this was one of my really hard fast adamant wishes from marvel avengers alliance when it was alive that we had an ISO that would allow you to control the transformation. And I thought that would be phenomenal. I Think of the gameplay that could have come out from that. AGV could have had some usage in PvP. If he became popular in PvP and people were running scrappers to counter, think of when Bisquick, Blue Suit, Quicksilver, um, when his scrapper uniform came out, infiltrators got written off the board. You did not run infiltrators on your defense when Bisquick was around because he would just maul them. And to feed Blue Suit Quicksilver at the time meant death. And then subsequently, same thing kind of happened when Spitfire was around. But um, 
uh, imagine baiting people into combat with Agvi and then being able to control switching them over to Bruiser, and now you have the advantage. And to be honest, in the second half of the game's life cycle, Bruisers were doing very well for each other, especially once we had the Elite ISO that gave you a scutcheon. So I would have liked an E-ISO that could allow you to control Agvi's transformations. If you wanted to do some debuff work and you want to maybe get some bleeds out, you would start combat with Agvi, and then once the bleeds were out, maybe switch over to the classic Venom mode, maybe exploit the bleeds at that point. Something I always wanted. It never happened. Now we're going to change things up a little bit. So what we've got here is, and you can see this in this art, this is actually the uniform art for Anti-Venom. This is Anti-Venom in his classic Venom look. And that's going to be one of the uniforms that you earn from Spec Ops 40. And then Agent Venom will get a uniform that turns him into Agent Anti-Venom, which you can see here in these sprites. If you want a good idea of what an Agent Anti-Venom would look like, I would recommend going over to Marvel Future Fight, where... There is a uniform for Agent Venom over there. Now, I promised I would tell you where can you find all of this for yourself. It is AvengersAlliance-Redux.Fandom.com. It is the wiki, not for Avengers Alliance, but for Avengers Alliance Redux, the current game. And you can see down here the list of characters that have been announced, heroes, alternate uniforms, villains, and stock enemies and also one piece of gear is over here. So real quick to wrap up some of the announcements that have happened in the past, the content development team has teased Agent 13, Balder, Cullen Bloodstone related to Else Bloodstone, Elixir, Jennifer Kale, Jubilee, major fan favorite over there, Okoye, Photon, Prowler, the good version, Shuri, Sleepwalker, Stature, Triton, and Valkyrie in her, basically her MCU look. Alternate uniforms that have been announced is Agent Anti-Venom. So you can see him here. Big stupid ad getting in the way. So here is Agent Anti-Venom in his under control look. And here he is in his out of control look where he basically just turns into Anti-Venom. And you can see he gains a, you know, the, the Guardians of the Galaxy Association. We have a Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. outfit for Sif. We have Armored Constrictor. Lord knows this guy needed a lot of help. Classic Loki. I Classic Loki was a villain in the game, and he dates back to the very beginning of the game. You can fight this Loki right now in the beta. I got to admit, a President Loki uh, could have been cool. Um, or his more heroic sort of, uh, I think it's Agents of Loki look. There was a, there's a card, comic card in Marvel Future Fight that shows you that that outfit. Um, but I I do like this one better than the version of Loki that we have in the game. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they implement this classic Loki with the horns and everything. Horseman of Death, Domino, Horseman of Pestilence, Elixir. Horseman of War, Sabretooth, Lethal Protector Venom. So this is the skin for Anti-Venom. Uh, and he's going to come in Bruiser and Infiltrator. And I did forget to mention that Agent Anti-Venom will come in Scrapper and Infiltrator. So both of them retain their original class and then add one extra for the uniform. We have Modern Black Panther, New Mutants Cannonball, Phoenix 5 Bishop, Phoenix 5 Captain Britain, Phoenix 5 Molly Hayes, and Phoenix 5 Storm. For villains, they have released Boom Boom, Death, the new Death, the Domino Death, uh, Death Dom. Hmm, that sounds a little bondage-ish, doesn't it? A Death Dom. Famine, Gorgon, Tommy Shishido. This Gorgon, I believe, was a common boss in Lowtown, Marvel Heroes, if I remember correctly. 
uh, Killmonger, and I, I do like this sprite is amazing. Um, please understand if I take a sprite like this and really praise it, it doesn't mean I don't feel that way about the others, but uh, before the video, I happened to come across the sprite again, and it's just, I, it's impressive. It, the detail on it, I think, is phenomenal. Uh, Multiple Man, who is a hero over in Marvel Future Fight and Marvel Snap. No, not Future Fight. Excuse me. Strike Force. He's in Strike Force and Marvel Snap. Nightmare Pestilence, which is the same as Horseman of Pestilence, Elixir, Pyro, Rhino. I like the Rhino Sprite. I, I like to say maybe a little bit more detail up there. It's sort of like a a hunk of plane it could maybe use some i don't know what maybe some weathering or just like a little bit of a uh an extra texture there taser face ulik ulik um he gets me in this nostalgia a little bit because when i first started playing future fight i think he believe it or not was like my first t2 and i actually used to use him on world bosses way back in the day Ultimate Vulture, the Vulturians, who are Ultimate Vulture's henchmen, and uh, Horsemen of Sabretooth War. We have enemies in um, Ejotnars, Multiple Man Clones, Muspel Schmegmas, Rock Troll Belligerents, and uh, Rufios. Yeah, Rufios from Peter Pan. And the Pym Particle Glove. Down here in the special operations section, you'll see got a Damarung, Rift Tech Raiders, Familial Ties, that's Cullen over there, Lethal Protector, Spec Ops, Dream Within a Dream, and the first PVAI hero that we will get, we will be getting Photon. So this wiki will go ahead and tell you some of the stuff that's been released, I've done release videos on my channel and everything. So you can go back on the channel to see it. You can go to the wiki over here. You can join us on Discord and see the announcements and sprites and everything for yourself. So the next couple videos that I'm going to do is the Q&A has been released. Um, I believe, yes, Q&A answering all the submitted questions. So I'm, I'm going to do a video covering the Q&A and I think my next video, which I'm also going to produce today, and I'm actually going to do it right after this one, is a little bit of a surprise video based on a moment in the past that I'm going to go over with you guys from my perspective. You may have seen it from somebody else's perspective back in the day when Avengers Alliance was live and we had some active content for it. So. Take care, everybody. Napalm Don signing off. And again, remember the rules of the comments that I'm looking for in this video. Stay on topic as much as you can. Ask questions in more appropriate forums if they're not about the subject matter in this video. Take care, everybody.